This video will cover the characteristics of the T-distribution. First off, there are four items where the T-distribution matches what we had seen with the standard normal. It is the same basic shape. It's got that bell shape to it. It is symmetrical about the mean. The mean, median, and mode are all equal and all in the center, just as we had seen with standard normal. And the curve never reaches the x-axis. Now, there are some things where it is different to standard normal, and a couple of these, particularly this first one, is critical. The T distribution, the variance is greater than 1. With the standard normal, the variance was equal to 1. If you think back to the properties of a good estimator, we prefer the item that, uh, we prefer the estimator that has the smaller variance. So that's why the Z version of the formula is the preferred version of the formula, and we resort to the T version when we must. Now, secondly, the T isn't a single curve. It's a family of curves. There's a nice diagram on page 375 in Blumen that does a better job of showing this than I can. The different curves represent the different degrees of freedom. And number three, as the sample size increases, the T distribution approaches the standard normal, basically because of the central limit theorem.